you have died. Uh, you're a traveler, hoping to pass through the swamps north of town. Well then, if I had to guess, you thought it would be a good idea to stop by the local potion maker before attempting to break those swamps. Well, if that's the case, I congratulate you on foresight. The swamps received their infamy for good reason. And what can I help you find? Hmm. A healing potion. I think I have one left in stock. My stores are a little low at the moment. And I should warn you that they're not cheap. Being the most popular potion doesn't make them easy to brew by any means. So I believe I have a plus-sized bottle with a strong blend. Let's see here. Ah, yes. As I said, it's a strong blend. It will slow down bleeding temporarily offer pain resistance. I've also brewed this so that it will give a brief stamina boost. And that should help you push through whatever it was that compelled you to drink it in the first place. You'll have to drink the whole thing all at once for it to take the full effect. As I said, this is the only one I have in stock. If you need more than one healing potion, I hate to say that the swamps might not be for you. What else can I help you with? Well, if you really want my advice, I think what you could really use is a night sight potion. Let's see here. I think I actually have this in a bundle. Yes. One potion will be enough to give you night vision for an entire evening. These swamps are incredibly dark. There's a lot of trees and a lot of fog. It's become something of a nesting ground for cutthroats and brigands, which is why I recommend this. If you try to light your way with a torch, you've essentially lit a beacon, alerting all of the cutthroats to your presence. So this is going to be the safest way you can navigate the swamp. I have this in a bundle with a medium strength mana potion. There aren't many magic users in town, so I've been having a little trouble selling it. If you're interested in the night sight potion, I can also sell you the mana potion at half off. Just the night sight potion tonight? Well, I suppose magic isn't for everyone. Alright. With these two items, we have you on the right track. Unfortunately, what do you think you could really use? are some cure potions. There's a lot of toxins and venoms in the swamp, and it'd be a good idea to have a few potions. Prepare yourself for that. My stores are a bit low at the moment, as I said. I get a lot of business for cure potions being right next to a swamp. So I think I may have most of the ingredients. Uh, let me check my notes. There's two main cure potions that you'll want to have. I know there's a bit of snow, so. Yes, okay. There's a green viper that likes to nest in the swamp. One bite is enough to kill a full grown adult, but I think I have most of what I need here. Still usable. All right, there's just a pinch of that, that root. Let's grind it up into shavings. All right. Okay, that's most of what I need for the first potion. It's also a mushroom that grows in the swamp. And most of the time, a poisonous mushroom isn't too much to be concerned about, as long as you're smart enough not to eat them. But this particular strain of mushroom that's native to the swamp has a defense mechanism. It spews up poisonous spores into the air. It's a thick cloud that if you inhale it, you're pretty much done for. You don't want to walk into a circle of them on accident. Okay, 
softly windy tonight. As I said, I have the majority of the potion here. The main thing I'm missing for both of these cure potions is a sample of the venom itself. I need some of the venom from the snake and some of the poison spores from the mushrooms. That's actually how most cure potions are made. I need a sample of the poison itself and then that helps build the resistance of the body to the real thing. You might be able to help me with this, actually, and we can make a deal. Since my stores are running low, if you're willing to go and collect the samples I need, I'll brew you the potions at a discount. All right, for the snakes, I just need a sample of the venom. This one will be easy. All right, I have a few traps set up on the outskirts of town next to the swamp. I would just keep live snakes here in the shop, but they refuse to eat in captivity, so I have to just set them loose and capture them over and over again. All right. Like I said, it's going to be on the outskirts of town next to the swamp. You'll see these rectangular boxes about yay big, with an opening on the side. Inside of the box, what I've constructed is essentially a, a winding maze, a circle that goes around and around and into the center. I lure the snakes into the box by coating it with a vermin extract. As they go around and around and around, they eventually find themselves coiled into the center of the box, and once they've done that, they can't turn around to get back out. The boxes will have a distinct difference in weight based on whether or not they have a snake inside them, or rather they're empty. If you can go collect me, say, three of the boxes that have snakes inside them, bring them back here. I can milk a few of them for venom and make you your potion. If you can't find three that have snakes inside them, just bring back what you can. And as for the mushrooms, which I have these right here. Yes, all right. Luckily, you won't have to go into the swamp itself or even to the outskirts. There's a farmer in town got a rather creative idea. He harvested some of the mushrooms a few years back, and he plants them on the outskirts of his farm. He doesn't let them grow to their full maturity. That's when they become lethal. He calls them before then. But he lets them sprout into their smaller, more immature stages, because the spores they produce, while not lethal to humans, are very good for warding off all types of pests and vermin. He doesn't mind if I and my associates go out there from time to time and collect some of the mushrooms within reason. In return, I occasionally brew him a potion that helps with certain marital problems. It doesn't matter. At any rate, if you're willing to go and collect some of these smaller, less lethal mushrooms, I can use them to make you a potion that will give you a stronger resistance to the spores of the adult mushrooms. Does that sound like a deal? All right, it's good to hear. But let me jot you down some notes, just in case. Let's
have most of the boxes set up behind these storage sheds that are out there. A lot of farmers have these storage sheds outside of town that they use to keep their product in, and it tends to become a bad focal point of various rats and vermins that search through the sheds for the food as well as using it for shelter. The point being that the snakes from the swamp would sometimes venture out there to find the rats, so that's why I put the traps up there. So it's, 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 it's a storage shed. If the farmer approaches you, just mention my shop and that you're an associate of mine and he won't mind you harvesting the mushrooms. Mention association to farmer. And while the mushrooms aren't in a mature, lethal stage, it still might be a good idea for you to wear thick leather gloves while harvesting them, as well as a facial scarf you can wear over your mouth. That way you don't inhale the spores. As I said, they're not lethal, but it could be enough to make you sick for a few days. So you wear thick leather gloves and face wrap. So the mushrooms will be a bit pinkish purplish in color with white dots around them. If perchance you see any that have become a deeper violet color than the pinkish purple, those ones have reached maturity and you won't want to go near them. He's usually pretty good about culling them, but I should mention it just in case he's been slacking lately and a few of them have gotten closer to the maturity. Do not approach This will form about one-third of the ingredients I need to brew the potion, so I think that seems like a fair price to take off once you bring these ingredients back. Well, all right, given the dangerous nature of the ingredients themselves, I suppose we can go to a full 50% off discount this time. All right, bring them back here and I'll make you what you need.